Hey, Chris Zagreb with Media Options. We help companies to acquire the raw, unfiltered version of their brand, domain acquisitions, and brokering some of the best domains on the planet. Like handyman.com, a new more brokering, acting.com, bloom.com, a lot of great domain names. Check it out, mediaoptions.com. So, what, what is this video about? What am I talking about? You're making the dot com more valuable. I had an email back from a very big company. They've raised over $25 million and have some strong revenues, I'm assuming. Although it's not a public company, private company. And they have decided we were in negotiation for this domain name. It was the branded domain name. Once again, it's one of these like perfect, perfect situations for them. It's their brand. It's their brand. It's the branded domain name in the dot com. Now they're an app. Okay. So there's this confusion with the app again. I talked about this several videos past. You can look at my YouTube channel and I talk about the example of cover.com, how they spent $850,000 on cover.com. And they said, Hey, it was, it was the best decision we made because it created this trust. And so what happens is that apps don't necessarily think they need to own their domain name because they're an app, right? But, but what happens is that they don't control the essence of their, their company. And so go, go back and watch that video. So uh, what happened is that they decided that they're going to be launching and doing more PR work. And they're going to be like communicating their message. They're looking at different ways to scale. And so they, we kind of got in this conversation with the domain name. Now there's some back and forth, some offers back and forth, some goodwill offers made. And, but we're still pretty far apart. And so they said, hey, listen, we're going to go with the with a .me domain. Now, I get the new TLDs, like no problem, no problem. But here's what happens, and here's why I'm saying that you're only going to make the domain name more valuable, the .com more valuable. So when you look at the value of domain names, it, there's three different aspects that go into the value. So first, there's the raw metrics of that domain name. Like what are the... What's the raw search, the raw goodwill, the, the exact match search times the CPC that gives you like this kind of valuation, use like 20, 25% of that. And it gives you a ballpark for the raw value. Then from there, you look at brand equity. Now, brand equity is the equity that companies have built up, okay? Equity being loyalty, trust, profitability. If you follow any of my videos, I talk about like what is a brand? A brand is just a symbol. It's a, it's a, it's keywords. How brands lead to brand positioning, which then position you in the marketplace, position you against your competition, position you global. But that really leads to brand equity is when you breathe life into the brand that brings that makes that keyword much more valuable. Brand equity leads to trust, leads to leadership, it leads to repeat customers, loyalty, profitability. So the second aspect of domain valuations is brand equity. So what happens is that these companies that who don't want to pay to get the .com, they think, well, hey, we're not going to pay for it. We're going to put our money, our marketing into this other domain, and we're going to get, we're going to stretch our marketing out. What they don't see is that every bit of marketing that they put in has this halo effect to the .com domain name. Now you're probably saying, hey, Chris, come on, I get it. But that's just you as a domain seller because you're trying to sell domain names. And here's what I see. Like what you think about domain names just simply is not true, okay? It has an impact. And here's how you can tell it has an impact. You can tell because of email. Now, inevitably, when I talk to companies, they know it. They're like, listen, I get it. We know it. We have companies. We have people who say they can't find us because we're not on the .com, because we've misspelled our brand. And they know that they've created this confusion. Now, this, this confusion means that a percentage of their marketing investment is wasted. So let's say you spend $10 million. Okay, 10%, that's a million dollars. 5% of that is $500,000. So what are you spending in marketing every year? What's that percentage? What is that disk? What is that risk percentage? And that's a number. That's an ROI number. So back to this thought. Email security is what, I mean, sorry, email is what shows it. Email is what shows that you're, there's confusion and you're driving traffic to another, to another company. No one misspells and says, this is my brand.me.io.ai. No, it's always the .com. Think about that.
Think about that one nugget. Okay, that one nugget right there is worth million, worth a lot of money. It's worth a lot of money to your brand, to your branding strategy. If you're a domain investor, it's worth a lot of money because that one line is what can bring your domains across the finish line. So this thought that no one confuses it with no one, no one is writing and saying, hey, you're so and so dot M E. No, it's like you're something.com. The very raw essence of your domain name. So, in this example, I made the point. I said, listen, if you look at this over five to 10 years, the investment in the delta that we're off is small. It's like almost not even non existent. Like you pay your cleaning crew more over 10 years than the cost of owning this domain name. Yet the impact of this domain name being owned by somebody else is everything. It's everything to your brand, your messaging, your positioning. It's everything. Think about that. Think about think about that one statement. The impact to another company owning your brand is everything. And so, bring it back full circle. Uh, you are making this domain more valuable. You're making it more valuable. The more you invest in another in, in an offshoot of this brand, in an offshoot of your domain, the more you're bringing up and you're, you're, putting, you're putting more value in brand equity. And that brand equity then translates over to this domain name being more valuable. It's more valuable to you. It's more valuable because it has a greater impact the more, the bigger that your company gets. Bigger that your company gets. All right, that's it. Hey, if you found any value in this, uh, share it up. Share this, this video up. I appreciate that. Also going over to chrisziker.com forward slash domains. I got a little three-part series there you might find interesting. Uh, on domain names, what do you do if the dot com is taken, and uh, what? How do you get into your domain name before your next funding round, when you don't have enough money to 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 acquire the domain name, i.e., on our financing, how we do it, some tips and, and tricks. Check it out and uh, share this pod, share this uh, podcast, share this video up.